hello friends welcome to this new video today we are going to start new topic of chapter 4 and it is uh, different types of digital payment and it is a part of banking services whenever we are doing any transaction means uh, purchasing goods or services at that time we have to pay the money so we have a uh, two option here first is that we have we can pay cash for that transaction or second option is we can use uh, digital cash or non-cash mode is there all right when we are talking about digital mode or non-cash mode we have another two option like we can pay by debit card or credit card it is also I means uh, with the help of plastic card we can pay and second option we have available that is e-bank In the case of e-banking, we have lots of options like point of sale is there, AEPS is there, UPI is there, micro ATM, Beam application, mobile wallets and prepaid cards, about which all these things we are going to learn today. So let's see types of digital payment. Uh, it includes first is a debit card, credit cards, which is uh, like a plastic money is there. Second, we have prepaid cards uh, in mobile only, not prepaid cards are there in uh, money also in cash also you have you can uh, get prepaid cards. Third one, uh, third one is a point of sale terminals that also we will see. Fourth is a Aadhaar card enable payment system. Then fifth is a micro ATM card. Then Beam application is there. Then mobile wallets are there. And at last, electronic fund transfer is there, which includes NEFT and RTGS. And uh, lastly, we will see about the ATM also. Let's see first credit card or debit cards. It is also called plastic money. Nowadays, every bank is issuing these cards to customer. In the case of debit card, account holder can make payment up to the uh, up to the amount of balance in their account that means if you have a balance then only use if you have no balance you cannot make payment through it in the case of credit card the card holder can make payment without balance in his account it has a overdraft facility up to fix the limit and it is depending upon the credit worthiness of the party credit card is a substitute of cash actually both cards are substitute of cash both cards are used to make digital payments for online transactions. Actually 95% online transactions are executed through credit card only. Alright, last thing I want to tell you the both, card, both cards are linked with bank account of customers. Next is a prepaid cards. In this card money is loaded in advance to make purchase or payment. This card is not linked with bank account of the customer. It is also called a prepaid debit card or stored value card. You can do shopping in malls or you can use it for online shopping also. Um, many banks are offering prepaid cards to customers like HDFC Bank, SBI Bank, American Express Bank, ICICI, Bank of Baroda. Next one is point of sale terminals. It is a handheld device that reads banking cards. With digitalization, the scope of point of sale is expanding and this service is also available on mobile platforms and through internet browsers. Different types of point of sale terminals are there. First is a physical point of sale terminal which is capped by shops or stores. Second is a mobile point of sale terminal which is working through tablets and smartphones. And the third one is virtual point of sale system which use the web-based application to process the payment. In simple words, point of sale terminal is a hardware system for processing card payments at retail location. Next is Aadhaar card enable payment system. It is a AEPS. It is a system developed by the National Payment Corporation of India that is a NPCI that allows people to carry out financial transactions on a micro ATM by furnishing just their Aadhaar card numbers and verifying it with the help of their fingerprint or IRI scan. But for this you have to register your Aadhaar card number with your bank account. 
Next is micro ATM. Micro ATMs are card swipe machines through which banks can provide banking services in remote area. These machines comes with a fingerprint scanner. It provides doorstep banking solution to rural areas where bank branches cannot reach. Next one is Bheem. It is a mobile application. Its full form is Bharat Interface for Money. It was launched in 2016. It is an Indian mobile payment application developed by National Payment Corporation of India. It is a based on unified payment interface. It is used for instant bank to bank payment. You can pay or collect money by using mobile number or UPI ID through it. Next is mobile wallets. It is a type of virtual wallet service that can be used by downloading an application. It stores bank account, debit card and credit card information in a encoded format to allow secure payment. Uh, many applications are there like Paytm, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, Jio Money, Free Charge, Airtel Money, PayZap, Yono SBI. Through it Uh, one can also add money to mobile wallet and use the same to make payments or uh, for the purchase of goods and services it eliminate use of credit card and debit cards or remember cvv or four digit pin last one is electronic fund transfer it is a electronic transfer of money from one bank to another bank or one account to another bank account via computer based system and it includes neft and rtgs neft means national electronic fund transfer and rtgs is real time gross settlement in neft the funds are directly transferred from one account to another account it removes the requirement of drawing checks or depositing checks etc remember the funds can be transferred between two accounts of the same bank or two different banks Only one thing is required that both the banks should be NEFT enabled and it is done in half yearly batches and RTGS is a fund transfer system that allows for the instant transfer of money and security once it is completed payments are final and irrevocable in RTGS minimum value of transaction is rupees 2 lakh in NEFT no minimum transaction limit is there neft and rtgs both are controlled by rbi difference between neft and rtgs is that neft is works on net settlement basis and rtgs is works on gross settlement basis rtgs is a faster and more effective mode of payment now at last let's see something about atm all you are very much familiar you have used it also still we have to learn something or let's see about it something uh, atm full form is automated teller machine it is automatic teller who makes payment and accept the deposits it works 24/7 you need to insert the plastic card in the machine and enter your identification code and if your code matches the machine will respond by giving you cash or by taking deposits 